Hello there and welcome to this unboxing video for my geek box. This is I believe the July 2015 box. I say I believe July 2015 because the June 2015 box never reached me and although I was told there would be a replacement box sent it's still not arrived with me. So there was a small chance this will be the June box in here but I suspect it's the July box because this has been sent now. So this is a UK based box here, I've just taken out of the delivery sleeve, it arrived very quickly, assuming it is the July box. I can't remember the theme, but I'm sure we'll find out as we look inside. So, here we go, and let's start off looking here, Transformers, the Autobot shaped mug. I suspect this one doesn't show particularly well on film, but uh, it's, it's black, it's ceramic feeling. It just says more than meets the eye. It is ceramic. It says on the back, Autobot shape, uh, Panadone. They make a lot of items in boxes, and it's certainly bigger than a typical mug, and it's squarer than a typical mug. So interesting item to start off. Uh, and I can imagine this is a Dalek from the side, possibly Davros. Let's have a look. Yep, here we go. We've got. Um, oh, it's clearly. Uh, Davros here, number two, Journey's End, Tenth Doctor. So I haven't collected any of these figures, but I mean, this is really nice. Will look great on the shelf. Again, well packaged there. And I'm a big Doctor Who fan, particularly the classic series, but I like the reimagined series as well. And any useful information on the copyright? Not really made in 2012, which is probably why it's Tenth Doctor, but very good like Davros there and we've got a t-shirt next it's, it's grey which is a good colour and it's got a two colour printing by the look of it, black and red, I'll just unroll that what have we got, Biological Warfare Project Nemesis and a lot of red, so it's not immediately obvious to me, made by Gildan, as make a lot of t-shirts. I'm sure we'll pick up the reference in the card in a minute. Terminator 2 Judgment Day card holder with two pockets to hold all your cards. Okay, including your travel cards, debit cards, student cards, oyster cards, credit cards, lunch cards and many more. I don't think I'd risk my credit cards, but the rest of them may be useful. I certainly have a pass um, not that like that, but a company pass where I've got my various work IDs and things like that in there. So maybe I'll move and use the Skynet one. Uh, what's next? We've got the Hobbit Battle of the Five Armies. Uh, Azog the Defiler. Presumably it's a drinks mat. Which, which is great, although I don't know what you'd ever use one drinks mat when they're not in the set, so perhaps not the most immediately obvious useful item, but it's always good to have a bit of selection. And the final item looks like a notepad. Los Polos Hermanos. Absolutely no idea of the reference there. Okay, Breaking Bad by the look of it. It's another show that one of many which I'm sure is really good, but they're just not in the fans in the day. Let's have a look inside and see if it's blank, which would be more useful. Yep. And yeah, breaking bad symbols on the side. Okay, well, it's useful. Never get too many notebooks. So, so let's sum up. I don't think it's possibly the best box, but there are some nice items in here. We have a mystery t shirt, Project Nemesis. I'm sure I'll work that out with a quick search of the internet what the t shirt is. There, we've got the Autobot shaped mug. That was a nice enough mug. Got the notebook, got the drinks coaster, the card holder and the Davros figure, which is certainly my favourite item in the box. So, possibly not the best one of these sort of boxes, but there's plenty of stuff in here to go through, and as always, it's been interesting to unbox. Thanks for joining me for this unboxing video, what certainly is my Geek Box July 2015, because I've seen some reviews of the June box. You can look at the full review and more unboxing videos at geeksubscriptionbox.com.